Welcome everyone, this is Asadullah Chaudhary and uh, this is the second part of uh, this web designing tutorial. So uh, let's get started. So uh, last time this is the way we left. So now let's uh, go ahead and uh, right after the banner tag put another make another section and this section is going to be the area between this one built with skeleton ID company info and uh, that's containing a heading and a paragraph built with skeleton let me put some text over here let me get the lorem if some text it's nothing but a dummy text Yeah, here we go. Copy. And paste over here. Let's check this out into our browser. So far it looks like this. Let me create the border around. Company info border two pixels solid and the color is going to be cyan and uh, the margin top is going to be ten pixels company info and now I'm going to target the heading one tag margin bottom is going to be 10 pixels let's uh, check this out into uh, check out uh, the real image Get the marge as you can see over here the margin at the, at the top is uh, lesser than this one built with built with skeleton it has a bigger margin over here at the top so let me put the bigger margin refresh now it looks perfect now I'm going to target the paragraph and increase the text size font size is going to be 16 pixels
how about 18 pixels yeah 18 pixels is fine so far we have created three of the sections the first one is header and uh, then the content contain uh, the content content contains image the the huge image and then the text section right after the text section there is another section that will be holding three of the columns this one the orange box so let's create the orange box the column container dev id column wrapper and inside the column wrapper there are three of the divs the f i'm going to give it a class and class is going to be column this contains a heading then an image and then some text h2 heading is going to be 1 2 Three. I'm going to put the image tag over here, and the image tag is going to be public images. I don't comfortable feeling here using my laptop. JP one dot JPG alt one and then the paragraph let me put some text into the paragraph copy paste paste and then paste perfect so let's go back and check this out into the browser at the moment you can see it looks like this I have to change the image name actually in the column and three because I have three of the images refresh night looks perfect <clears throat> now let me put the border around the orange one onto the column container is it column wrapper or column container it's going to be call wrapper border to pixel solid orange I'm gonna put my uh, I'm gonna put my column side by side so I'll be using the flu I'll be applying the float property onto the columns.
I'm using overflow hidden over here. So don't get confused. Let me uh, let me uh, let me tell you why I'm using over here. Let me delete this code from here. Overflow hidden. Let's move next and uh, take care of the columns. Let's give give the column color. Color is going to be red. Border two pixels solid. I can't even type over here. Refresh. Let me reduce the width of column. It's going to be three hundred pixels. I'm going to stretch the images. I'm going to apply the float property float left to the columns just to put them side by side now here you notice uh, what's going on whenever you apply the float property to any of the elements the the HTML flow gets disturbed the floated elements always uh, left their place just and give the give the free room to the other elements so that others can occupy their left face so this is what's going on over here so what's the remedy to this I'm gonna the first solution of this is to put the overflow hidden to the container this will establish a new context block and uh, it will fix the issue refresh and the issue has been fixed let me give give some margin top refresh and uh, let me give it some other class name custom custom margin at 20 pixels It shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be applied to the column but to the new class it's going to be the custom refresh forty what about sixty? 50 50 is better I guess so now let's uh, remove the borders and uh, the design is ready I'm gonna start removing the borders from the top wrapper refresh the border is gone
the border is gone for the header as well the border is gone for the logo and the border is gone for the navigation bar perfect the border is gone for the content the border is gone for the banner the border is gone for the company info remove and that's it so here you can see we have successfully created this web page over here so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, see you soon bye